good evening everyone uh, i am back again with second part of this three part series and in this part uh, i would like to share some information about the uh, wild animals found in the uh, in our forests in uh, indian uh, subcontinent uh, basically these are the charismatic species which actually attracts visitors from all over the world and also i would like to share the uh, information about the uh, the presence of our company rare india in in the these different tiger uh, reserves national parks and uh, wildlife sanctuaries and how we are supporting the conservation programs by uh, with the help and support uh, and commitment from our partner hotels so this is all about the wildlife tourism and uh, rare india which we are going to see the Rare India is presented in almost 20 uh, protected areas which includes tiger reserves national parks and wildlife sanctuaries so let's start from the top one the uh, hemis national park which is in trans himalayan region of ladakh and is famous for its uh, the population of uh, snow leopard is uh, uh, represented we are represented in this national park by the lungmar remote camp uh, which has a wonderful team of naturalist as well as a tracker from local village who, uh, who will go out for tracking snow leopard and then you'll get to see them quite easily then we have dachigam national park which is in kashmir and uh, this is represented by uh, Uh, we are represented by uh, nadis hotel in this uh, national park and uh, uh, they have a uh, team of uh, they 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 are uh, uh, a team of uh, they have a team of uh, uh, experience provider and they have wonderful experiences inside the national park you can go for walk and uh, then uh, they have uh, They, there are naturalists who actually uh, take you to the bird watching and other different uh, programs then we have a corbett tiger reserve which is uh, located uh, uh, in uttarakhand and it is uh, i can say it is uh, the one of uh, first tiger reserve of india uh, the actually project tiger was started from here and it has a uh, uh, highest number of tiger population uh, and uh, beautiful landscape and we have uh, jim's jungle retreat which is close to all all their all the gates of tiger reserve then we have one ghat which is a unique property in terms of the uh, approach and uh, experience mostly bird watchers they they can go here and they spend their time watching uh, birds in their surrounding then we uh, we are present uh, represented by uh, T uh, uh, TUTC Alia Jungle. This uh, this is a property of TUTC, the ultimate traveling camp in uh, Rajaji Tiger Reserve. We are represented by Alia Jungle, Pandarjur. Rajaji Tiger Reserve is also in Uttarakhand and it is close to Haridwar and Saharanpur district of Uttar Pradesh. Then we have Sariska Tiger Reserve, which is uh, close close to Delhi. Uh, it's a two and half or three hours journey from here, and you'll get. Uh, uh, we are represented by Utsav Camp and Camp Uncha. Both these properties are on different side of the Tiger Reserve, and they provide not only wildlife safari, but they provide also the uh, the other experiences, which include the uh, visit to the local community village or and uh, the historical sites. then we have ranthambore tiger reserve which is uh, close to uh, jaipur and uh, it is uh, or savai madhopur is the nearest railway station it is represented by uh, kem uh, uh, vilas which is a property uh, runs by uh, renowned uh, conservationist uh, mr govardhan singh rathor he is the son of legendary Mr. Fateh Singh Rathor, who was the first field director of Ranthambore Tiger Reserve, then we have Ramatra Fort, which is not exactly near the Ranthambore Tiger Reserve gate, 
but it is in the uh, it is uh, situated on the in the buffer zone just near the buffer zone of uh, the, the of ranthambore tiger reserve and they have wonderful uh, biodiversity surrounding uh, their property uh, uh, all the all the mammals of ranthambore tiger reserves uh, or the aravli uh, uh, landscape aravli uh, hills uh, the diversity of aravli hills you will see here and they have uh, they are surrounded by forests they are surrounded by lakes and you can see bird watching you can see uh, you can go for mammals so it's a beautiful place then we have a bera leopard reserve uh, and we are presented by a, a small property called bera safari lodge bera safari lodge bera is uh, famous for its leopard sighting as well as for the uh, birding it's a birding destination also so uh, uh, this is uh, this is also a beautiful place you can see daytime um, uh, sightings of leopard then wild as sanctuary which is located in the little run of kutch and it is represented by run riders by kafila and run riders by kafila has a, a great team of naturalists and the owners are renowned naturalists of india and uh, it's a, a great place to stay and uh, to see the uh, fauna of uh, Indian desert and especially wild ass. And uh, it's a famous place for birding also. Then Panna Tiger Reserve, which is located in the northern part of uh, uh, central India, Madhya Pradesh. And uh, Panna Tiger Reserve is very beautiful forest. It is, uh, it is uh, uh, represented by uh, Sarai at Toria, which is run by uh, the conservationist couple, uh, uh, and they they are uh, they have done a lot for the tiger uh, tiger conservation and wildlife conservation in that area. Then we have a we have Bandhavgarh Tiger Reserve. We are represented by Bandhavgarh Jungle Lodge in Bandhavgarh Tiger Reserve. It is uh, one of the uh, historical uh, and ancient place of uh, Madhya Pradesh. And uh, it's a wonderful uh, place uh, for, uh, it's a wonderful habitat for tiger, great habitat for tiger. And you can see uh, uh, Buddhist caves and uh, uh, other uh, flora and fauna. Then we have Kanha Tiger Reserve. Kanha Tiger Reserve, uh, we, we, we are represented by Kipling Camp and Kanha Jungle Lodge. Both are uh, located on the uh, different gates. And uh, Kanha Tiger Reserve is known for its uh, population of hard ground Barasinga. Actually, the conservation is started for this animal. And uh, later, it uh, because of this uh, tiger population and conservation, it, it has become a tiger reserve. It was started as a national park. Then we have Satpura Tiger Reserve, uh, which is close to Bhopal. And we are represented by Reni Pani Jungle Lodge and Bori Safari Lodge, and both from same owner. And Reni Pani uh, is near the Madai uh, Gate. of the, And to reach that uh, gate, you have to cross the river. And uh, from on the other side of the river, you'll, uh, you'll go on Jeep Safari. And in Bori Safari Lodge uh, is, uh, is a comparatively new area. Uh, most of the villages are located, uh, relocated from the Bori Wildlife Sanctuary. Uh, and uh, they, they, are, uh, uh, they have wonderful grassland, which attracts lots of herbivores and then their predators. Sapura Tiger Reserve offer various kinds of activities which include uh, canoeing and uh, uh, other uh, other kind of uh, uh, safaris canoeing and uh, walking safaris night safaris all these are uh, allowed in satpura tiger reserve then we have a pinch tiger reserve pinch tiger reserve is the uh, land from where the uh, uh, the keepling got inspiration to write uh, to, uh, to write the uh, jungle book and uh, because of uh, it, it got very famous. This tiger reserve got very famous uh, in in that uh, in 
different parts of the world and we are represented by jamtara wilderness camp which is again a part of a, a family which has a very good uh, conservation record and uh, it's a, a lovely place and recently bagheera has reappeared in this park in this tiger reserve so whenever you go you'll get a chance to see a black leopard then we have a we have taroba tiger reserve which is uh, in maharashtra maharashtra state and uh, it we are represented by swasara jungle lodge which is very close to the uh, kolara gate uh, one of the most famous gate of uh, uh, tiger reserve and you'll get a good tiger sighting as well as leopard sighting as well as uh, sloth bear sighting and uh, good for birding because it has uh, various lakes inside then uh, and it is close to nagpur kaziranga tiger reserve kaziranga tiger reserve is in uh, state of assam and uh, it is uh, it is as i uh, uh, as i said that in in my previous uh, presentation uh, it has a big seven kaziranga and uh, it's a, it's also a world heritage site and it uh, we are represented by deflu river lodge which is located near a river called deflu and it is one of the best property in that area and uh, it uh, they they work on responsible tourism practices and a wonderful place to stay then we have periyar tiger reserve which is uh, which is located in the western ghats and uh, periyar uh, the river flows through it uh, there is a, res a reservoir and uh, people can do the uh, the boat safari from uh, there and we are represented by windermere state and river house then we have anamalai tiger reserve here we we are represented by sinna dorais banglo which is located in valprai and uh, this area is quite famous for lion and maka one of the uh, charismatic species of western ghat and it is uh, it's an endemic species of uh, india western ghats uh, and then we have uh, manas tiger reserve and nameri tiger reserve both are in assam and they are part of uh, assam bengal navigation abn and wild mahasir experiences and itinerary manas tiger reserve is famous for pygmy hawk conservation and it is a wonderful place and it has extension into the uh, bhutan which is which used to be royal manas tiger reserve and it's a uh, it is also famous for its uh, primate uh, one of the primate called golden langur the nameri tiger reserve is also beautiful place it has a, uh, it is part of the northeast uh, forest and uh, northeast uh, area of uh, north, uh, landscape of northeast and it has a wonderful diversity then we have binsar wildlife sanctuary which is in uttarakhand this wildlife sanctuary is quite famous for birding and we are represented by uh, mary baden state and people generally from the different uh, the birders especially birders from different parts of uh, the world and uh, india they go for birding in this area and also it is also famous for the uh, himalayan uh, flora and himalayan fauna also indian wildlife it is quite unique in africa you can see miles and miles because it's all open grassland but in india it's even difficult sometimes to see an animal just uh, sitting somewhere 2 or 3 meters away from you so that's the actually uh, uh, an experience when you track the animals inside in in the indian uh, national parks and protected areas tiger reserves and uh, it is it is a fun of it I means Uh, you, you going for alarm call suddenly you hear the alarm call and then you go there and suddenly you see the pug marks of tiger leopard or uh, sloth bear or uh, other animals and then uh, you uh, you stay there for long and suddenly you see a tiger or a leopard is coming out from the bushes and then you see deers are running you'll see uh, 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 Barasingas, 
you see uh, you'll see other other species of monkeys they give alarm call they have a very unique way to uh, warn the other species and they they have a you know that very interesting thing that they have they they warn the other species uh, by different way means for a tiger they give different kind of alarm call and for leopard they give different kind of alarm call because tiger cannot climb the tree but leopard can climb the tree so they are more scared to the leopard then we have uh, now it's about the charismatic species of course royal bengal tiger is the main one then common leopard as i said we have five big cats asiatic lion which is found in the gir forest then snow leopard in the himalayan region trans himalayan region of uh, ladakh then we talk about the these pachyderms they the we we have a good population of asian elephants western ghats uh, north indian forest like uh, jim corbett and raja ji both are good for uh, elephant sighting and uh, in northeastern forest of kaziranga banas all these have very good elephant sighting nowadays uh, there is a herd of elephant in bandhavgarh tiger reserve also then we have great indian one horned rhinoceros which is found in uh, kaziranga and uh, it, it's easy to find them very easy to find them then we have bovids which are basically a cow family member and we have wild water buffalo which has uh, you can see there the diameter of their horns then we have indian goat which is uh, the uh, Um, biggest bovid of the world they can weigh more than 1500 kg kilograms and uh, the male uh, are really muscular and heavy then we have uh, 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 bears himalayan brown bear which is found in the high altitude himalayan parks we have sloth bear which is found in the uh, which is basically a, a kind of uh, Uh, endemic species of indian subcontinent they are found in uh, all the, the peninsular forest and uh, some part of the uh, northern forest we have other species of uh, bears also there is our uh, asiatic black bear or himalayan black bear and then we have a uh, uh, sun bear also then we have a uh, species of deer spotted deer and sambar deer these are most common deer of india and spotted deer are very beautiful you can see the spots on their body that's why they are called spotted deer and um, they look elegant um, especially male with uh, uh, antlers and uh, multiple branch then we have sambar which is the biggest deer of uh, south south asia and you can see their antlers big antlers they have they are big in size and uh, they 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 basically you'll find them in uh, dense and uh, dense forest as well as forest where water is easily available then we have hard ground barasinga which is uh, which used to be found only in kanha but recently their population has been reintroduced in satpura tiger reserve and uh, they are uh, really beautiful deer with they have uh, uh, they called in uh, barasinga because of the 12 tines in their antler then we have barking deer which is uh, which actually uh, bark like a dog that's why they are called barking deer a small species of deer shy we have asian wild dogs if uh, we are represented by dog family so we have asian wild dogs golden jackal asian wild dogs are uh, beautiful golden in color that's why they are called son kutta in hindi and uh, they are found in some of the uh, peninsular forest and in some other part of the northeast uh, northeastern and uh, northern forest of india golden jackal is quite uh, common uh, they are found not only in the protected areas but near the countryside or villages we are uh, represented by the family hynidae and we have uh, striped hyena from that family they they have stripe pattern on their body and uh, they are they are member of hynidae family they are found in mostly dry or semi arid kind of forest 
and uh, they have very strong jaws then we have a uh, indian wolf and tibetan wolf both are almost same species but uh, different sub species you can say and they they are uh, uh, the they are more uh, having more fur these tibetan wolf have more fur than their peninsular uh, cousin then we are represented by primates we have uh, more than 16 species of primates in india and we have uh, western hulog gibbon as well as eastern hulog gibbon we have capped langur then uh, then we have primates we have more than 22 uh, we have almost 22 species of primates in india which includes western hulog gibbon the only ape found in india it has two species western as well as eastern hulog gibbon western is uh, restricted to india and bangladesh while eastern has a uh, more wider uh, distribution and then we have cap langur which is found in the northern northeastern part of india even uh, hulog gibbon is also found in hulog gibbon is found in northeastern part of india only then we have lion tailed macaque which is endemic species of uh, monkey found in india they have nilgiri langur again an endemic species of uh, monkey in india then we have south western uh, langur we have different species of langur here uh, i am sharing two species uh, one is south western langur and another one is northern plains langur and the basic difference you can see with uh, within them is that one has uh, the tail which is uh, which is bent inside and the south western langur the, their tail is bending outside so these are the basic difference you look for when you when you, you are uh, traveling to south indian forest or northern forest they are quite easy to see then we have uh, different species of birds uh, uh, we have uh, as i uh, told you earlier we have more than 1233 species of birds in india so we have a uh, great hornbill we have bar headed geese we have saras crane we have vultures and indian skimmer so uh, great hornbill is found in mostly uh, rainforest or evergreen forest like in uh, northeastern part of india south western ghats and in some part of uh, uh, northern india in jim corbett and rajaji tiger reserve especially in jim corbett tiger reserve then we have bar headed geese which is one of the highest flying bird it it, it actually migrates from the high himalayas and uh, even they are known to uh, fly above the everest then we have saras crane which is the uh, largest flying bird mostly found in the gangetic plain and uh, uh, it's a uh, this bird is beautiful then we have vultures earlier where uh, the earlier uh, the population of vultures was declined due to the uh, medicine called diclofenac which is banned now and uh, uh, which was used uh, for treating uh, uh, animals so it was a veterinary medicine and uh, almost 97% population of vultures was uh, declined due to this medicine now because of the initiative of government uh, they have created various breeding centers all over uh, india and uh, the population is recovering very fast and best place to see them is one of the uh, some of the central indian parks like uh, panna tiger reserve you'll see lots of them and uh, then we have indian skimmer uh, uh, in sakura tiger reserve you can see uh, them easily then we have reptiles uh monitor lizard is quite common but uh, it's a, it's a, you can say this younger one of uh, 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 the smaller uh, one of the uh, famous uh, komodo dragon then in india we have very good uh, reptile diversity and um, we are represented by snakes and uh, uh, different species of venomous and non venomous snakes and some of them are quite really endangered so we have uh, also we have lizard we have uh, ghadial ghadial is uh, one of the critically endangered species of uh, long snout crocodile and uh, they are found their uh, breeding population is found only in very few areas especially in 
in Chambal River, you can find them easily. Then we have monitor lizard. This is this looks like a, a, a Komodo dragon, but yeah, of course they are smaller than uh, those and uh, very shy. But definitely seeing them in wild is uh, quite interesting. So this is all about the uh, my second uh, presentation. And uh, you have got all the uh, information about this, uh, the, uh, the presence of rare in all uh, in different tiger reserves and uh, national parks and uh, wildlife sanctuaries. And you get you, you got some idea about the uh, the animals which are uh, found in these uh, areas, these uh, protected areas. So uh, till uh, so tomorrow I am coming again with another uh, presentation, which is about the wildlife tourism and its role in conservation, uh, or you can say wildlife tourism as a conservation tool. So till then, goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you.